Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a neat little AI tool, particularly if you are in education, but there's some quite nice applications elsewhere as well. So this is my lens, and we can see here it's got three different things that it can do. So timelines, mind maps, and quadrants. We'll take a look at each of those. They've got some really nice use cases that we'll have a look at, and then we'll experiment a little bit with some examples of my own. So when we think about those three things, certainly for me, the first thing that came to mind was educators and students. And we can see a few different things there, history lessons, obviously timelines would make a lot of sense there. And a lot of different study guides would make sense with the mind mapping. If we think though about someone like a business analyst or a strategist, certainly that's somewhere where we might be presenting things in quadrants. We'll have a look at some examples in a second or looking at mind maps where we're trying to map out particular sets of information in a logical fashion. They definitely put some effort into this page with all the use cases. So startups, freelancers, researchers, academics, content creators. But let's have a look at a couple of examples. So here is the timeline example and we can see it presents just a nice neat timeline and this just comes from nice simple prompt. So this is something that I've done when I was teaching with a program called H5P but I had to make them myself and they did look a little bit fancier than this but there was a fair bit of work to it. So this is pretty neat for a fairly low level of work. Looking at the mind mapping so here is the one of Algebra Basics and we can see that it groups things into particular sections then has the offshoots of them. And then finally, here's an example of the quadrant. So just setting up two axes. And this particular example, maybe a wee bit simplistic. We would definitely want to do a little bit of diligence, just making sure the information is in there. But it could be something if we had either our own information that we gave it to create the quadrant or we're using that with a little bit of combination of the AI. It could be interesting for some business presentations. So let's have a crack at this ourselves. So I asked it something that was maybe a little bit challenging to do a timeline of because it's all pretty recent. So use of AI, and in fact, this, this is up here is not my wording. This is the system's wording. I just asked for a timeline on the use of AI in medical education. It's got some pretty reasonable examples here. Only a couple, as we might expect for something fairly recent. If we try and do something that is a little bit broader. So now I've extended it to the use of computers in medicine. And we can see that it is... Giving us something a little bit more detail, obviously dates back to the 50s and 60s, the very early computers, and fairly brief bits of information. Down the bottom left we can see that actually we're on the free plan, we get access to the visuals, we only get three stories per day, so I'm only going to get one more shot unless I wait until tomorrow to continue this video and the limitations on the input. And so far the input that I've provided has been pretty sparse. Then we've got our plan here, nine dollars a month, unlimited stories, 5,000 characters of input for each story. And so if we were providing more data into it, I think we could get much more detail on this output. We can share these timelines and things that we're producing, and we can download them as well. And they'll download as a PNG graphics file. Okay, so the last one that I am going to show you is just one of the mind maps. We can see that it's growing as I'm speaking. Gave it, used nearly all of my 100 characters. Uh, wanted a mind map interested in AI use in GP training. Something that I'm researching in the day job at the moment. And this I'm pretty happy with. So I asked about that but gave no other guidance and I think this is a pretty nice, well-detailed map. Certainly each of these we would then want to be things we might want to go and explore if we were teaching and using this in some fashion. But pretty happy with this. I could definitely see myself as part of some presentation, including in fact, possibly even this itself. And certainly in the future, putting in my own stories where I was giving more data to it to be able to map exactly what these categories are. But really nice just little fact-finding discovery tool where it's mapping out these things. We don't need to worry as much about hallucinations because it's only giving us just kind of the main category headlines rather than getting carried away with writing things and the funny prose that you get out of ChatGPT. So that's been mylens.ai. 
Um, nice little tool. Definitely think that I will use it again on the free version. And it'll be interesting, as with a lot of these AI tools, to see whether they develop either more options within the particular things that it currently does, or whether they develop some new threads beyond the mind mapping timelines and quadrants. So that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. I'll be back really soon with more videos on AI research stats and random stuff.